A majority of MEPs are undeterred by unexpected delays to plans to shockproof Europe's 8,000 or so banks by forcing them to build their reserves. After lengthy talks, Parliament clinched a deal with most member states a week ago, only to find it's been held up pending technical talks with Britain, home to many of Europe's financial institutions, which opposes a proposed cap on bankers' bonuses. Parliament's lead negotiator says the delay doesn't alter the agreement and it will go to a plenary vote in April. Die Bonis sind ein kleiner Teil. In Wahrheit ist es ja darum gegangen, die Banken zu stabilisieren. Es gibt eine Einigung mit dem Rat. Und wir stehen zu diesen Einigungen. A warm welcome for Myanmar's president, U Tain Sein. Once a communist apparatchik, now seen as a moderate key to a reform effort that's seen the release of political prisoners, including its most famous Aung San Suu Kyi, and some multi party politics. But before sanctions can be lifted, Myanmar must prove its transformation. We understand the uh, wish of the country, the request of the, of the country of uh, Myanmar to lift as soon as possible the sanctions. We understand the request, but we discussed also some of the conditions of the European Parliament. A sustainable and credible democratic development is one of our major points. Proof from Spain's abundant citrus orchards of the damaging effect of foreign fruit dumping. In this case, Chinese mandarin oranges. Spain is Europe's biggest mandarin producer. MEPs this week raised angry complaints to the European Commission over a breach in anti-dumping rules exploited by China. Las importaciones procedentes de China, solamente entre marzo y junio del año pasado, los operadores importaron el equivalente a la campaña completa. The Commission has promised an investigation with a view to strengthening Europe's anti-dumping regime.